Stub number three and four, I think it is. Just looking at my list. Um, <clears throat> stub number yep, three and four. And five. Yep, three, four, and five. Um, so yeah, so I'm down at um, another kind of shopping complex. This is called Fraser Cove. Um, for those that aren't local to my city, um, I'm pretty sure I've got a few watches from out of town and out of country. I uh, just did a big shop around a couple of places and I got some stuff. So I got some brand new pants because my one is, my ones are kind of falling apart. They last, they're really good. They're awesomely comfortable, um, but they last about a year before they start just falling apart. And that's where I'm at with these, but they're so comfy. They're like, you know, when you wear uh, a, a hoodie just for the comfort, it's like that, but it, it's pants. Um, and I uh, found these in the warehouse today. So to use an onion toasty flavor, power fritters and lemon flavor, which I'm probably not gonna like as much. And then there's lamington flavor too. Which I think is going to be really good. I'm looking forward to that one the most. So I got some some of those. They were like $2 each. So that's really awesome. Got some awesome craft mac and cheese. Legit the best mac and cheese ever. Um, got some cheap drinks. This one was like $1.60. That one was $0.75. Cents. Um, and then I got this stuff for my ankle. Because my ankle has been swollen recently. I don't know why. Um, I reckon it's either overuse. Or I pulled a muscle. Or I pinched a nerve. I don't know which one it is. Or it might be a combination. But hopefully those will help. And then I got I found these as well in a um a, a place called Cracker Jack. It's like a variety cheap store. So there's that. And it's um dairy free, organic plant based drink. I've got iced coffee, and then I got mocha and I got chocolate. So I'm gonna wait until those are chilled to try that. I'm gonna have one of these because they're nice and cold. Oh sorry, I just cracked a high. <laughs> um I don't know which one of these I want to drink now. Might have this one. And I'm gonna open one of those. Should we open one now? Mm, okay. Let me just find a place for this. Let me see if I can just stand you. You're not gonna work, are you? No, you're not. Yeah, no, you're just gonna. Mm, oh, you're. Oh, you're staying there. Nice. Which one should I do? Um, I wanna do Lamington. Let's open the Lamington bag. Oh wow, that's a that's a very strong smell. It definitely smells like lamington. It doesn't look. Oh, it mm, kind of looks like the the chocolate lamington. Oh my. Oh. That wow. That's. That is so good. Oh my goodness. That definitely tastes like lamington. It's like the chocolate lamington with the little coconut flakes. Um, oh my goodness, that is so good. Oh. Mm. This is my lunch. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Mmm. Um, the flavour on that was amazing. Oh, that was incredible. Um, that was amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping that that one and that one taste just as good. Um, I've never really eaten parlor fritters before. That is very much a kiwi delicacy um, that I haven't really taken part of. I'm not a huge fan of um, of seafood. I love some uh, seafood, but not really power fritters. I'm not a mussels fan. I'm not a, um, what else? I don't like eating prawns if they've still got, like, if they haven't been processed and if it's, if I have to, like, dig the meat out myself. Um, I love crab meat. I love fish if it's no bones and probably battered or crumbed. Uh, what else is there? Crab meat. Yep, surimi. Is surimi even real? Um, real meat. But yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it is so yum. It's like chocolate on chips. It's actually like if you take plain 
plain chips, like really salted chips, and you dip it in chocolate sauce, and you eat it. So good. Someone please try that. And then dip it in coconut um, sprinkles. Oh, so good. All right, off to the next place. Uh, where are we going next? Right, I'm swapping cars, and then I'm going to go dump off some stuff at the Metal Man Recyclers. Um, which I'm probably not going to record just because I don't know what the rules are about recording there. And it's kind of boring, so. Um, and then I'm going to swap cars again and go for another drive. So I'll see you then. Alright, I've only got one hand so I can stop recording now.